What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, it's that time of the week and I have some interesting picks. A couple ones that are new to the collection. Some very fresh stuff made its way in this week. Um, a lot of new stuff to the collection though that I was very, very excited to wear. We've got a combination of things though. Like I said, there's some fresh stuff. There's some heavy stuff with some dense spices. We got some hefty florals. Quite an interesting week. Quite the you know, fall, sometimes wintry mix, sometimes warmer than that. But it's variety as usual, and it's week number 209 in the weekly rotation, so stay tuned. Starting off on Sunday, I was still in Chicago. I didn't bring any out the shower fragrances with me, but I did go with Lamal Elixir from Jean-Paul Gaultier, one of the better releases of the year. Absolute hype beast and a half. Huge fan of this one. If you like vanilla, you'll like it. Loads of vanilla. I definitely get the minty green, lavender heavy dose uh, of the original's DNA with a lot of vanilla tonka bean. And the tobacco here offers a little bit of a dark, robust richness as it dries, though I don't distinctively get a tobacco smell from it. That's what I'm attributing, that darkness that I get into it. But it's a beautiful, sweet and powdery vanilla, aromatic, a little green. It's good stuff. Monster performer, though. I know that's what a lot of people are looking for. And if you want attention, here you go. This is one of those fragrances absolutely worth checking out. Not a safe blind buy, but if you like vanilla... <laughs> it's a safe plan buy because you gotta like vanilla. That is the core. During the day with nothing out the shower on Sunday, Lamal Elixir. Moving into Monday, I was back home nice and early. My plane landed around 9.20 in the morning. So I was able to do majority of my usual routine every day. And I wanted something a little bit fresher. It was a little bit warmer that day. So I went with Maison Alhambra's Glacier Bold, which is a Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Beau Le Parfum clones. Funny, I wore... Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance before, and a clone of another one of their fragrances the next day. This is pretty spot on. Very much smells almost identical to Le Bola Parfum. Uh, it definitely has that tropical fruity smell, the rich coconut, sweet powdery tonka bean, fresh greens, all the good stuff that's likable about Le Bola Parfum. You'll absolutely find here. It doesn't perform on the level. I have to say, it's not you know, quite the long-lasting monstrosity that is Lobola Parfum, because that's, that's a beast on me. This I would put in the very strong category. I've been getting around seven to eight hours of longevity with this one with pretty good projection for about an hour and a half, two hours. I wouldn't call it some monster, but maybe a little bit better than arm's reach kind of stuff. Like, it's pretty strong, but not crazy strong. Uh, and then the sillage is kind of hit and miss. It's a little spotty. Sometimes it's a little bit on the stronger side. Other wares... Maybe I'm just anosmic to it and smells a little bit weaker, but overall for like 22 bucks that I paid for this, if you're looking for Lobola Parfum on a budget, this is, I would say, more accurate to the scent profile than something like Mandarina Duck Vita Loca, though I do love that fragrance. It's got its differences. It's orange. It's, you know, sage. Like, there's a few different notes, but it definitely smells like it. I think uh, there's some redundancy to these. But this one's more of a carbon copy, like much more accurate to the scent profile with Le Bola Parfum. So during the day, Maison Alhambra's Glacier Bold, clone of Le Bola Parfum. Then when I got out the shower, this was that new cool water summer flanker that I picked up when I was in Chicago. This is summer edition 2019. Minty green, fresh, watery citrus. Nothing crazy special and unique, but a great out the shower refresher. Great on a super hot summer day. <clears throat> does kind of remind me with the green tones here and the watery citrus. Does remind me of the original. It does smell like a fresher, more summer-oriented take on Cool Water EDT, which doesn't happen too often with their flankers. Normally, it's kind of their own fragrance most of the time. Here, it actually does smell like Cool Water. I think that minty green uh, note is really what ties it in. This is pretty good. It's not special, but it is pretty good. If you see it out there, I paid 30 bucks for a 4.2 ounce bottle, which is kind of going rate for these flankers that you'll find at the rack stores. I'm super happy with it. It's great out the shower, which is what I wore it for. Like a six hour fragrance, nothing crazy, but solid performer. And when summer rolls around, 
it'll be a great beach day kind of fragrance. So out the shower, Davidoff Cool Water, Summer Edition, 2019. Moving into Tuesday. So this is an argument starting kind of fragrance for me because I like it more than Aventus. And uh, people argue with me in my comments when I say that. It's Mind Games Blockade. Spicy Fruits. Undoubtedly smells like Aventus. This is their Aventus. But it's much fruitier, obviously much spicier. Centered around some pink peppercorn. This is so good. This is so good. Gotta love this one. Uh, fruity, citric. Doesn't have the smokiness. Not super musky. But undeniable, there is some tie-in to Aventus. It's still a pricey luxury fragrance. This was sent to me by the folks at So Avant Garde, uh, the fragrance group. They handle distribution for mind games. I was able to pick out a fragrance, and I picked out the one that I like to pick out the niche brand's version of Aventus. I always like to see twists on the DNA. I'm always looking to see what can be done with it, which I'm starting to garner that Aventus's DNA might be the greatest DNA of all time for men because there's so much that can be done to alter and change and twist and manipulate that DNA. I've never smelled a take on Aventus that was bad or mediocre. Like here, it's just as different as it is the same. It's an undeniable resemblance, but I love what was done here. Like I said, spicy, fruits, tropical, very centered around this mango smell. This is great. Performance is very long lasting, but not super loud. Maybe it's anosmia, but I don't, it doesn't come across super strong on my skin, which I'm totally fine with. It reminds me it's there. I get nice little whiffs of it here and there, but not overwhelmingly strong. But I get about 10 hours on skin, so kind of works in my favor. I'm totally cool with that. During the day, Mind Games Blockade. Let me get that to focus before we switch things up. There we go beautiful bottle caps are crazy and then when i got the shower i decided to double up two nights in a row went with cool water summer edition 2019 nothing extra to add so we'll just move on moving into wednesday this is one of the greatest designer fragrances of all time it's still the best aqua de jo flanker in my opinion it's profumo i was in the mood for it boy this is such a beast yes it's the older magnetic cap with the metal plate on the bottom and this batch code stuff guys i can't <laughs> it gets old. Just wear the fragrance. If it smells good, it smells good. How it's going to perform is how it's going to perform. Because I, I did a shorts video about how it's goaded. But, and I had to hear about, oh, I got the click cap. And oh, they don't perform the same. I, I, okay, okay. Does it smell good? It smelled good? All right, cool. Refresh. If, if you don't get enough out of it. That's just, man, guys. It's a phenomenal scent profile. Yes, I am fortunate to have one of the older ones that apparently is a beast. Because... This stuff's ridiculous. Like six, seven hours into it, my wife, when we got out the car to go somewhere else, she's like, I just got a big whiff of your fragrance. It smells good, but I can't believe it's still strong like that. And uh, yeah, I smelled myself the whole time. The CIs was crazy on this one. I did five sprays around the neck and I didn't really need it. Five sprays was crazy strong. This particular fragrance, this bottle right here in my hand is an absolute monster. And I still hold it in such high regard. It is the mountaintop. This is the peak of the Aqua de Joe mountain. It's the main face on the Mount Rushmore of the DNA. Uh, and there's an argument when it comes to fragrance community darlings with designers. This, this has a, a real strong argument to make that Mount Rushmore because it's just phenomenal. Earthy patchouli, aquatic, and smoky. Beautiful. Ties true to the original DNA, but matures and refines it and adds some elegance with knockout performance on me anyways. What a great fragrance. Been a while since I had wore it. It was great to revisit uh, Giorgio Armani's Aqua de Jo Profumo. And then when I got out the shower, I don't know why I decided to go with this. I haven't used it in so long. This is my Versace Pour Homme Aftershave Balm. And then, of course, I gave myself a few sprays of the fragrance. I mean, this is the real king of the office when it comes to designer fragrances, in my opinion. More so than Prada Lone, because this is so clean and inoffensive. I can't imagine anybody not liking this. And I'm sure there's some people out there that don't like it, but that's such a small percentage of people. So good. Citruses, creamy white florals, soapy, a little musky. The woods are soft and not, not dense and super woodsy. Because super woodsy, not everybody likes, but I like the way the Neroli comes across here. 
Uh, it's a beautiful, fresh fragrance. I get pretty good longevity, six, seven hours out of it. Uh, this is, like I said, this is the real king of the office, in my opinion. And it was nice to wear it out the shower, because, I mean, why the hell not? I was layering products. I had a good shave. Went with a Versace Pour Home Aftershave Balm and a couple sprays of the fragrance. Moving into Thursday, I had no out the shower fragrance, but, man, this is such a great pickup. This is Chopard. This is Cedar Malachi. Let me get that to focus. This fragrance is so, so good, guys. I want to get make sure that focuses so you can see this. Very well-constructed, beautiful bottle. Beautiful bottle. Stout, thick cap, holds strong in place. Really good atomizer that does the trick, but beautiful. I had some... It's funny. I was thinking it, and then later in the day on my shorts video post about it, somebody mentioned, am I crazy? Is it just me, or does it give me polo green vibes? Now, I don't know if he was talking about the bottle alone, because yes, the green and the gold, of course it does. But the scent profile, I had actually told somebody earlier that day off of social media privately that this is kind of like if you took the tobacco note away and made it a little bit smokier, this is kind of like polo green. Very much so. Uh, resinous, sticky green, piney green, woodsy, smoky, a little dry and aromatic, uh, minus the tobacco. Doesn't have that tobacco earthiness of polo green. Uh, it's very close. Not one to one, but definitely walks a similar path to the scent profile. And I think that's why I like the damn thing so much. Because original polo, I, I don't even like calling it polo green. I call it polo green because the internet does. And when I say the internet, I mean just random people on the internet. I, I call it polo by Ralph Lauren because that's what the name of the fragrance is. It's not named polo green. Um, it just kind of got dubbed that over the years because it's the green bottle of polo. But point being, that's a nostalgic fragrance for me because that was my school dance fragrance when I was a kid. That's what I would wear to school dances. So I'm very partial to polo. And this very much reminds me of it. And I think uh, that's why I enjoy it so much. Very much a cedar dominant fragrance though. How cedar's in the name? Absolutely. Very cedar heavy with fresh piney green woods and a nice incense hit. One of the better releases of the year that I didn't get in time to get my best of, uh, get in the best of video. I just got it around the same time, but beautiful fragrance. During the day, Chopard's Cedar Malachi. Moving into Friday, so I'm so glad I have a bottle of this now. I had just picked up this and the Leather Flanker around the same time. This was my first wearing of Stronger With You Oud in the Emporial Armani Stronger With You line. Possibly my favorite designer line of fragrances. I literally enjoy every single release. I love every, even Only and Freeze, I think are just underappreciated. They serve a purpose. They flanker properly because you always smell the original in the flankers. And for some people, they're like, oh, if you've smelled one of them, you smelled them all, they all dry down the same. Some of them do dry down pretty much the same. And the, the nuance change is the early stages of the fragrance. And I can appreciate that, honestly. I really like this fragrance. This is some good stuff. It's a dry wood, very spicy, rough and tumble, a little leathery. Has that animalic edginess to it without having any real funk. Nice aromatic tone, it's bright. Of course, it's very warm and spicy. I could see how this would be a lot of people's favorite. I actually said in a video where I featured it uh, this past week that I pretty much feel like if you tell me this leather or absolutely is your favorite in the line, I feel like we can be friends and we have similar tastes. Because it's it you're good with any of them, really. And some people will say intensely. And I totally get that. I love intensely as well. That is intensely sweet when it comes to the line. It's the sweetest one. But I think the most interesting ones is strong with you oud leather and absolutely and they're you know it's funny the internet relates this to strong with you leather i don't think they smell all that similar but to each their own i don't think i mean having more than one of any of these in the line is redundant because they all tie together but this is some good stuff and of course i'm partial to the black and gold because i'm a diehard saints fan but man if you haven't tried this one yet what a great release nothing out the shower either during the day strong with you oud Finally, on Saturday, I'm currently wearing it now. Spray on my hand, four sprays around my neck. So this is the Eau de Parfum Spray version of a viral TikTok fragrance called Harim Al-Saltan from Cudlage Perfumes. This is the Eau de Parfum Spray of said fragrance. 
This is fruity pebbles, then dries into powdery florals and woods. It's got oud, but I don't get an oud smell. I definitely get the creamy sandalwood uh, with this rose jasmine powdery flowery floral heart. I've seen conflicting things like the actual uh, from Collage Perfumes website and Aroma Concepts website list the same notes. So that's from the brand and the main distributor. But if you go to Fragrantica and Parfumo, they list peach, they list pineapple, which makes sense. Because Bergamot's the only thing listed officially from the brand and from their main distributor. But I get way more fruitiness than just what Bergamot can offer. So I think there's some credence to it. May, I don't, maybe it's an assumption and they just assumed right. I don't know. But this smells like fruity pebbles when you first spray it. I was very much attracted to this right away. I literally did a first impressions video as soon as I got it in today. And ended up in the video spraying it on as my scent of the day. I'd already sprayed my hand. Because I actually haven't sprayed anything yet. We're doing four sprays of this today. <laughs> I like it enough to spray it on right here and now for the first impressions, but ended up spraying four sprays around the neck. And I'm loving this one. The wife's a little indifferent. She's like, oh, it's nice. It didn't, like, impress her, and she didn't not like it either. She was just kind of, that's nice. Nothing special. So for those of you that are going to ask what the wife thought, she didn't really care. <laughs> it didn't impress her, nor did it kind of turn her away either. But I'm digging this stuff. I'm definitely going to be wearing it more in the future. It's a uh, fruity floral with dense woods, I think is the best way to look at it. So I understand the hype this one gets. At least I've never smelled the oil, but the EDP spray, man, this is some good stuff. Kadlaj Perfumes Harim Al Sultan. And then I'm going to be going to take my shower here in just a little bit. And I was looking, I want to wear something different tonight. So I've been wearing this most of the day. I want to wear something fresh. I want fresh. So I'm going to go FOMO Parfums, a Fraghead's Asylum, their version of Elysium Parfum Cologne. This is another one that lists oud, and I smell no oud. So anybody that sees this no breakdown, no. Uh, maybe it's a typo. Maybe it's just such a minuscule percentage that it's undetectable. Maybe I just can't smell it, but I get no oud. No oud whatsoever. I get juicy, sharp citruses, metallic, just beautiful. Smells like Elysium Parfum Cologne to me. Oh, juicy citrus. Such a beautiful fragrance. I'm rocking this tonight, probably four or five sprays, and it's going to be a great night. If you haven't tried any of the FOMO Parfums fragrances, all three of them that are available at the recording of this are fantastic. Their version of Dior Homme Parfum is much spicier, less animalic, beautiful, and their version of Grand Soir is much more woodsy. It's got a lot more, it's a deeper fragrance that still smells like Grand Soir. So, same thing goes here. I think this is probably the most accurate to what it's cloning. It's less of a twist and inspiration and more of a clone. But out the shower, this is what I'm going with. FOMO Parfums, this is a Fraghead's Asylum. Well, that's this week's rotation. And until next time, do me a real quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. What'd you guys wear this week? For those of you that watch this format on a regular basis, you know that's what I'm looking for. It's my favorite comments to read. I love seeing what you guys are wearing. So sound off in the comments. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the stuff I wore this past week and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Who knows? Have a good one, guys.